Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my dear farmers. How are you? Ha. This is another exciting lesson. Imagine our crop after hustling, after doing all that. It's almost ready. We are about to harvest onions in this farm in volumes, in volumes, in volumes. At least, ha, I'm very convinced. You have seen how we, we have journeyed with you with these onions. And as we finish, uh, I thought it's good even for you to see what we have been saying. Is it realistic? Is this doable? Is this something that we can improve on and work on and say, ah, we have won the battle. So this is it. Look at my onions. <laughs> you know, we are in a season whereby we require super medium sized onions. And this is what we have. This is what we have. Remember, I showed you these onions from planting a um, few months ago. And now we are in harvest, almost harvesting. Our onions, unfortunately, zikagongwa na mvuambili ya hailstone. And it reduced them to almost nothing. But thank to God for knowledge. Because once you have knowledge, you are able to to mitigate and know that was a problem and now how will i come in yes the cost of production will have gone up but how will you make sure at least you're going to break even and have an output you see my onions are now lying down that's an indicator that they are curing now the physiological process has gone on so well and now they are curing look at this this is red wave, my friends. It's good. Look at this spacing. I normally tell you from one crop to the other, to the other, to the other, to the other. This is amazing. This is what we require in this season. Not extra large onions, but this super medium um, shaped, well shaped. The color is so good. Red, nice. And you can see the uniformity is very very okay in this part that I am and even if I go to another region let me move let me go to this block that was worse affected but still you can see nitakuwa na mea na chakula I'm very confident when I say leaching those 18 tons or those 20 tons it's possible i might not hit 20 in this 20 tons in this block or in this lot but i'm very sure that with those challenge that i had with the hailstones and uh, trying to push this crop to finish i'll still get around 15 16 tons from this one acre the secret is what you feed will always grow work yourself well look at this amazing here this line is so 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 good haha -ha. look at it so follow is follow every step of farming don't use shortcuts as we say they will cut you short have information that will guide you to know when you're doing the correct thing and the information that will help you know when you're losing or when you're not in the right track the problem will always come when you're working out in your farm and you don't have any basic of your farming method or how you're doing it it has to be very known from beginning with a lot of accuracy what you're doing it has to be known because it's a business it's agri business there is an investment that you have done in it and in return you are required to get a profit right so you have to work with information and that's why young farmers like i we have uh, that zeal that energy to educate most of upcoming farmers share this information with another farmer you develop and you develop and you become as better as this book learning is continuous and that is it keep learning keep subscribing share this information and once you do that you'll be in a good position 
to farm and yield. That is it. Don't skip any stage in your program. Don't skip watering. Don't skip don't skip nutrition. Don't skip uh, fungicides. Don't skip um, foliars. Don't skip pesticides. Have a working program. If you don't have that, there are people who can assist you. Someone like I can help you in planning and in uh, management of that. Keep learning, keep subscribing.